Hey, welcome to the show. Total Financial Solutions, Safer Money Hour. I'm Arif Hallaby, joined every week by my faithful uh, partner, if you will, Jeff Gerhardt. So we're talking about your family's finances, getting out of debt, managing money, and of course, planning for your future. What is it going to take to make all of that work so that you can uh, you know, arrive at the, the life that you want to live? Now, look, there's a, there's a hard part about these decisions that we make, financially speaking. Uh, one of those is that it affects us, uh, little decisions today can affect us for the rest of our life. And you have to realize that when you're making these decisions, because I can tell you as somebody who made uh, choices early on, I'm thinking, oh, you know what, this is, uh, it's only taking $6,000 out of my uh, IRA, that's it. I know I'm 25 years old, but you know, it's no big deal. And you don't realize the amount of money that's lost both in growth, and then by the time you pay taxes and penalties and fees, you know, the IRS is not kind for you using money that was designated for retirement in another way. So we have to uh, kind of lay down a foundation that says, you know, we're going to be uh, having money have its own job to do. And each time that we have money that has a job to do, we have to stick to it. Now, if it means you're homeless or you pull money out of your retirement account, of course you do. But here's one of the biggest challenges. As you pull money from places like retirement accounts or, or your savings, and you use it on an expense that is recurring, meaning... It isn't just like an emergency or, oh my gosh, there was a flood and I needed to put a new roof on the house or a new uh, backyard. That's fine. That's, uh, that, that's one type of an expense. That's a one-time expense. But if you're using money that is built for the long run to pay for things like credit card debt and you haven't changed your behavior, surprise, six months or six years from now, you will be right back in the same boat. In fact, we saw this a lot when people would refinance their homes and pull cash out and pay off things like a car or an RV or credit card debt. And then two years, eight years later, the car is broken. They back into credit card debt. But meanwhile, the home equity has already been eaten up. But that's gone. So now you have it twice, both in the home equity that you've taken out and in the new credit card debt. So mathematically speaking, does it make sense to pull money out? Well, of course it does, if the math works. But if you're saying, Arif, I didn't change my habits. Arif, my outlook on how money works hasn't really improved. You know, Arif, one of the things that I look at when I see how money works is, I think rich people are bad, poor people are good, who wants to be like them? Well, we want, we want all the stuff, don't get me wrong. But if you can still in your mind and still put down rich people, people that have more than you do, not think that you belong to become successful, and you could broaden that out however way you want, then you will continually sabotage your success. And every time your dollar figure, your account, whether it gets to 10000 or 100000 or whatever the number is, when you psychologically have hit where you think you are now at the peak, then you end up making poor decisions. And uh, by accident or on purpose, you're now beginning to go backwards financially. So this is counterproductive to the desire that most people have, which is to be able to work where, when, and with whom we choose. Because truly, that is the new retirement. Retirement is not just about sitting around at home. And when I say when, we might say we want to work four months out of the year. We have clients that, that have the, the RV and they go to the various uh, campgrounds, lakes and, and parks, uh, national parks, etc. And they go in and they act as park hosts. That means he might cut some firewood, maybe check you in at the front desk and take care of some reservations and things that are necessary to make that camp run. And for that, they get to stay for free with their RV and sometimes even get paid a little bit of a salary. Isn't that a wonderful... Now, maybe that may not be your choice, and it may not be mine, but that is a wonderful way to say, I'm going to work six months out of the year at this camp, and then I'm going to come back and work four months as a substitute school teacher. Maybe you come back and say, now I'm going to work part-time at a store, because I like being around people, want to save up a little bit of money, build up my social security credits a little bit. Right? So retirement isn't just about, poof, a day happens and you disappear off the grid, financially speaking. It's about building a life to work with whom you want, when you want, uh, with, uh, in what career field. So many times people 
are hitting that second wind, or third in some cases, which is a career choice that is something completely counterintuitive to what some of their friends might have said. Well, Jim, you were an accountant. What do you mean you want to be a florist? You're like, yeah, well, you know, I, I like those things. Or, or, Susie, you had worked with kids your whole life. What do you mean you want to start a small business, a coffee shop? Yeah, I've always wanted to have a passion for coffee. Wonderful. So, do you see that, that the decisions that we make are not necessarily subject to this flat number that says, and today, I poof retire, right? That doesn't work. But an early retirement can lead to a whole host of wonderful things, up to and including building a financial life that is around your values, the choices you make, the decisions you make on, on uh, the impact you want to have. Like it or not, and unfortunately one political side has really subscri uh, subscribed to this as their mantra, but there is a social value or social um, impact you have in the world. We're not living in a little bubble. I really dislike this idea that uh, it takes a village to raise a family because I'm not interested in your values, village. I'm interested in me and my family's values. That's how I want to raise my kids, not yours. Thank you so much. Oh, but Eric, if you don't look, you have a different set of values as an individual than I do, and of course, back and forth. But whether or not it takes a village or doesn't, what it does do is it means this to me. It means that you are going to have an impact. So whether you like that it takes a village or not, you still have an impact on people. And that is a big part of your life. What is it that you're doing to make the world a better place? Whether you like it or not, you are making the world a different place. Did you know that? The world is different because you walked into it, because you were born, because your parents chose to have you, because they chose to live in this part of, of California. My parents chose to move to California. We are first generation, born in native Californians, if you will. My kids are born and raised in a place that they're only here because my parents made a decision in the 60s, early 60s, to move from Michigan to California. So do you see the impact? Your decisions and your choices will make a huge difference what career field you choose. Don't be hypersensitive to every decision you make, but just be clear that it has an impact. So we're going to take a break when we come back in a minute because I want to get into early retirement. What does that mean for you? Can you take an early retirement? What do you have to do to plan for that? What does an early retirement actually look like? And what are some of the mechanisms in place to pull money from your retirement accounts and not pay that 10% IRS penalty? Did you know you can do that? Isn't that pretty amazing? You don't have to pay the 10% IRS penalty. In fact, you can build it to where you have guaranteed sources of income that can last the rest of your life. And what does retirement mean now? It used to be wanting to pay off your home. And for some Americans, it's still the case. But as we are more of a mobile society, between the RVs and between being able to jump on a plane for $79 one way and go and visit grandchildren or go and visit uh, the, the top wonders of America, for $600, $800 round trip, you can get to Europe. Did you know that? $600, you can be on a plane and the next day be on the other side of the world. So for those of you that are enjoy traveling, whether it's in your backyard, if you will, local, or whether it's on the other side of the world, the value of paying off your house as opposed to being a renter, it's not the same. It isn't the same whatsoever. Especially now that LA County property taxes, in fact, just this morning on a home for a client, when they first bought their home, they're now retired, their property taxes were was $2,000 a year. Reasonable. Today, LA County, with all of its new fees and increases and charging everybody all sorts of fees, it's now $8,000 a year. $8,000 a year. So what does that mean to you if property taxes can never be paid off? You could eventually pay off your house, right? We understand that. That will eventually have a zero balance. But what never gets paid off? 
called your property taxes. And if when you retire, it's going to go up by four times, so a 400% increase, that means for me, if I'm paying $7,000 a year in property taxes right now, that's $28,000 a year is what you can expect if you're in your 40s to be paying for property taxes when you're in your 60s. Did you hear what I said? $28,000 a year for a, stand, you know, a, a middle class house. I'm not talking about you know, one of the big houses in Sand Canyon or Placerita Canyon or up in you know, Happy Valley. I'm talking about standard track house, a nicer you know, 3,000 square foot home. Definitely a little bit larger because you have a family. But have you planned for the $28,000 a year in property taxes? Because that's coming. Especially if you're in your 30s or 40s, you can expect that no question, especially at the rates they're going. So what does that mean to you? It means that if rent is $2,500 a month, that's just about the property taxes. So whether or not it makes sense to do that, I don't know. Everybody's different. But I do want you to consider the alternatives and the ways in which we thought of in our, in our past. Oh, well, this is always this way. You always are supposed to pay off your home. My parents did. My parents said. My grandparents. Great. But if you're going to be part of the mobile generation that's going to go down and visit Central America for three months and your home is going to stay empty, are there alternatives? If it isn't renting, we have other choices for you. So when we come back, I'm going to get into retiring early. What does that mean? And can you still live? Can you still live a comfortable life? Hmm. Total financial solutions, safe for money hour. Arif Hallaby, that's me. And the answer, believe it or not, is yes. We come back, we'll get into how you retire early. Some of the choices, some real basic things to do. But the impact, as I said at the start of the show, of the decisions you make today can affect people, yourself, and others, the community, for generations when we come right back. Total Financial Solutions, Safe for Money Hour. I'm Arif Halloween. We'll be right back.